An uptick in coronavirus cases is leading to more restrictions. Indoor dining will no longer be allowed at San Francisco restaurants starting on Saturday. And this is just another blow to the already struggling restaurant industry. Tonight in Cobra Conversations, we talked to David Nafeld, executive chef and co-owner of Kefico Restaurant and Kefico Alimentari, both in San Francisco. And chef, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we know that the economic hit to the restaurant industry has been enormous. How long can you and the others hang on? Well, I think that answer is different for everyone. Um, the one thing to understand about this issue is it's very regional, right? Uh, we saw just, you know, a month ago that San Francisco was doing so well that we were on our way to being uh, open 50% dining. And now we're getting to a place where it's been said that now we're closing all indoor dining altogether, right? You're seeing New York that got to a relatively good place with some indoor dining. Now they're planning on shutting down again. The same with Chicago. And you're seeing, uh, you know, it kind of change all over the country. And so the answer for us personally, you know, if we don't get a federal bill passed, uh, like the Restaurant Act, um, you know, I think that we probably have about uh, four months until things start getting really dire and we have to make some extreme calls. Well, that is not not long at all. Explain to viewers a, a little bit about what the Restaurants Act is and, and what it would do. Yeah, the Restaurants Act is a $120 billion federal act. Um, and so there's one that was written in the House of Representatives by Congressman Blumenauer, and then another one that was written in the Senate by Senator Roger Wicker. Um, you have a Democrat in the House and a Republican in the Senate. It's very bipartisan. You have people on both um, you know, sides of the aisle which have endorsed it. Um, you know, both the Speaker and a number of other prominent uh, you know, Democrats and Republicans have uh, voiced the fact that they understand that restaurants in a very unique place. We happen to employ more people than any other private industry in the entire country. Uh, we also add more to the tax base and the GDP than any other industry. Um, and the fact is that we were hit the earliest by this and we're going to be uh, affected the latest, right? Because you're hearing all of these reports coming out saying that indoor dining is causing the spread. And so us as chefs and operators, we don't feel, and I, I think that the majority of the public would agree with us, that we don't feel like it's our position to have to choose between the public safety and the livelihood of our business. You know, if the government and the safety experts are telling us to shut down, we're more than willing to do that. But we need our government to step up for us and pass this bill, which will allow us to open safely when we do reopen. It will allow us to stay closed without having to shut down. We can make our landlords whole and pay them. We can pay our vendors and we can also pay some employees, which is a huge deal in this time. Yeah, so how frustrating is it for you, David, to, to know that this help is so desperately needed and yet lawmakers are, aren't, aren't passing it? Yeah, I would say it's definitely frustrating. Uh, myself and a group of other highly motivated people at the IRC, the Independent Restaurant Coalition, have been working incredibly hard over the past eight months to uh, to protect independent restaurants. Um, and at first that led to us trying to uh, make changes, which uh, definitely helped with PPP. And, you know, over the past eight months, we've also been lobbying for this restaurant bill to uh, to be passed. It's very frustrating when you consider the fact that both Republicans and Democrats see the need for this. You have a Republican in the Senate that wrote the bill. You have a Democrat in the House which wrote the bill. You have uh, overwhelmingly uh, positive response to it. Yet uh, the fact is, I think we're caught in the middle of some, you know, partisan kind of chess match. And the fact of the matter is also that we are not, you know, most small businesses are, you know, politically agnostic. We're not political, um, you know, uh, pundits. What we are is we're just hardworking Main Street folks, blue collar, a lot of us are. And, you know, we just need a little bit of a hand. And, you know, during other times, they've been willing to give uh, help to the airline industry, to the banking industry, to the car, uh, uh, you know, to the car industry. And now when Main Street and small business need help, you know, we really need our government to step up for us now. Yeah, I think so many people would agree with you on that. Well, we'll have to wait and see what happens with the Restaurants Act. Uh, meantime, wish you the best of luck. I live here in San Francisco. I love the restaurant and, and, and would love to see you stick around. Thanks so much, David. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's good to see you.